I'm going to start off by making the cookies and I've got a, a large saucepan here and I just turned the heat on to medium high. I'm going to add in a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of molasses, be sure to get all that molasses out of the measuring cup there. And I'm also going to add in my spices. I am using one and a half teaspoons of ground ginger, a teaspoon of allspice, a teaspoon of cloves, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'm just going to add that in there. And I'm going to take a whisk and I'm going to bring this up to a boil. This is now up to a boil. So I'm going to be going to shut the heat off and I'm going to bring you over here. Take this off of the heat and I'm going to whisk in two teaspoons of baking soda and this will kind of puff up a little bit and then I'm going to take a stick of margarine and I'm going to add this in here and I'm just going to whisk this until that margarine is melted. I've got one egg that has been beaten. I'm going to slowly add this in to that mixture and you want to whisk that well because you don't want to scramble those eggs. Or that egg I should say. And I'm going to get rid of this whisk here and get a spoon and I'm going to add in three cups of flour. And I'm going to stir this together until the flour is incorporated. Now I'm over at my counter. I've got the flour mixed into kind of into a dough, if you will. And I'm going to put this out into one of my counter that's been lightly sprinkled with flour. I'm just trying to get the last of this dough out of the pan there. And I'm just going to take some more flour, sprinkle it on top like that. And I'm going to knead this dough until it comes together and is a nice mass of dough. And you want to get all that flour incorporated so you don't have any streaks or anything on there. Like that. I'm going to take half of this dough. That's the half I will work with. The other half here, I'm just going to put it into a plastic bag and set this off to the side. Now we can get rolling this. Now to start rolling these out, I've got my dough on a piece of aluminum foil, and I'm just gonna cover this with a piece of waxed paper, maybe, put that water up so it'll be dry. This way, when I, after I get done cutting the cookies, sorry you're not in focus there, um, I can just transfer them directly to the cookie sheet on the aluminum foil. I don't have to worry about smashing them up and whatever. Anyway, I'm just going to roll this out until it is just under a quarter of an inch thick. Now I got that rolled out, it is time to cut out our stars that we're going to use for the tree. I am using this uh, six-piece cookie cutter set from Wilton. I picked this up at Joanne Fabrics. They are $3. Uh, I know you can pick these up online as well. They're relatively inexpensive, uh, but there are six graduated sizes of star cookie cutters in here. I'm going to start with the biggest cookie cutter here and what we're going to do is we're going to cut two cookies from each size cookie cutter. So press that down, give it just a little twist there like that, pull it straight up and move on to the next one. And when I get my two cookies cut, I'm going to take this cookie cutter and set it off to the side so that way I know that I have used it. And I'm going to take the next smallest size and use this one like that. And then I'm going to take this dough and I'm going to carefully pull the extra dough out from around these stars. All right, so I got all the dough out from around those cutout shapes. I'm just going to carefully transfer this foil 
We're going to a cookie sheet like that, and I'm going to bake this in a preheated 325 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes. And while these are baking, I'm going to get some more rolled out. So I've got all my cookies baked now, and after they got done in the oven, uh, I baked these for 10 minutes because my oven runs a little hot, so you might have to bake yours up to 12 minutes. But after they came out of the oven, I let them cool uh, slightly just for a couple of minutes on the foil, and then I peeled the foil off and set them over here on wax paper to cool completely. So I'm just going to move these out of the way and get working on our royal icing to decorate these. For the icing, I've got about a cup of powdered sugar in my bowl here, and I'm just going to eyeball a couple of tablespoons, maybe three tablespoons to start, and about half a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm just going to mix this together until it forms an icing. Uh, if it's a little thin, like this might be, add more powdered sugar. If it's too thick, then add more milk to it. And when you get all your powdered sugar mixed in, uh, this is the consistency that you're looking for. It's a rather thick icing, almost like a frosting, but it's still technically an icing. So I'm going to get this into a plastic bag. You just want to pour this or scrape it into a Ziploc baggie. Make sure and get all that scraped off the spoon. I'm just going to seal this up, press the air out of that. I'm going to work all of this down into a corner. And I'm just going to snip off the very, very point of this baggie. Now, to decorate your cookie, I'm just starting with one here. It's actually a spare one. Uh, don't start on one of the ones you're going to use for a tree. You'll have enough dough left over uh, to do plenty spare parts. Anyway, I'm just going to do an outline about a quarter of an inch away from the edge here. When I get the outline done, I'm going to do just like I did on the stained glass cookies. I'm just going to put a series of dots right on this line. Don't put them too close together, otherwise they will run together. And when you get back to the beginning, it should look something like that. And then just go ahead and let this dry. I'm going to go ahead and get all of my pieces right over there. I don't know why you can see that. All of my pieces, I'm going to go ahead and decorate all of them the exact same way. And when I get them all decorated, I will be back. So I've got all of my cookies decorated now. And now it is time to start building this little guy not so little guy. All right, you want to pick yourself a plate because once you start building this, it's going to be nearly impossible to move. So go ahead and start building this on whatever it is that you want it to be built on. Um, I'm going to start with the big cookie right here. And I'm going to put him so, meh, right there. Go ahead and pick a side that you're going to, that's going to be the front uh, or that will face whatever it is that you're going to use this on. I'm just going to put some royal icing in the center here. And I'm going to use the second big piece that we have. And I'm going to center this right on top of that first cookie. And I'm going to let this dry for a moment. And I'm going to put some more 
icing right there. Go to my next smaller cookie. And pick a side that looks nice. And I'm going to center this one. And I'm going to let this dry. And this is taking a few minutes to dry and to set up. So you want to take your time with this. You don't want to rush it and have the whole tree fall over on you. Alright. Put another little dab of icing there. And you just want to keep going with all of these pieces. Keep alternating back and forth. Remember you cut out two of each size. So uh, the two that you use of each size will be staggered like this. So these bottom two are one size. These two are another size. And so on and so forth. So I've got my tree done now, and now it's time to put the star on the top. There's a couple different ways you can decorate the star. You can decorate it with dots, like I did with that one, which is going to be the one that I use. Or you can completely cover it with frosting and put sprinkles and crystallized sugar on there. I don't know how well it's going to focus. It's not focusing. Anyway, you get the idea. I didn't like that. Um, or you could also just fill it in plain like that. Either way, well, you can't even see that. Anyway, this is the one that I'm going to use. So, to put this little guy on, I'm going to use my frosting here. I'm actually just going to put some frosting on two tips here, like that. And I've already decided this is the side that, no, I guess not. This is the side that I want facing out, so I'm just going to poke this down like this, like that, and I may have to, depending on if this icing sits up or not, and it's probably not. Nope, oh, it's staying up. However, yeah, I think it'll be okay. Um, if it doesn't stay up for you, you can take a toothpick and run it through the bottom and then just stick that down into the top stars and that will secure it. I want to put some frosting on the back side here so it will stay in place. And I'm also going to do some frosting on the front. And I'm just going to pull this on the star tip here and let it fall down the side and it will gradually zoom me in here so you can see what I'm doing. And it will gradually fall down on its own and make it look like there's snow on the branches melting off. And just like that. Maybe put one or a little right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this melted. Whoa, you are really not focused. And then I'm just going to keep doing this on the rest of these branches to kind of make it look like there's snow falling and melting off of these points. And once you get that done, you are pretty much done with your gingerbread 3D Christmas tree. 
Um, if you want to, you can sprinkle uh, sanding sugar on this just to give it a, a nice sheen. Um, you can also use sprinkles and put that on there. Um, it's really all up to you. I'm just going to leave it like this because I like the basic plain look. But there you have it. Thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoy.